Hey everyone, my name is Alex, and in this video we're going to check out how fast my 3080 Ti is generating post data. We're going to use a really cool tool called Smesher Plot Speed, and I'll have a link to this GitHub in the description. It is a great way to not only get the speed that your card is smashing at, but also the expected completion date. And you can even report your data up to the cloud and actually see uh, and compare yours with everybody else's. So we are going to jump in to the terminal here. And Uniform is where I have my 3080 Ti going. And let's attach to this mesher. And it's been going all night, about 12 hours, I think. We're at file 51. I believe this is a six num unit one, which is 384 gigabytes, uh, or gigabytes. Gibby, gibby so we got a little bit of ways to go. Uh, we are looking good. So let's actually get the, uh, pull in the GitHub repo actually going to go down to this and it, it's really simple to install this I go over this on all my uh, speed videos but it's really just as long as you have git installed you just copy the git clone and then move back over to the terminal drop that in there and now you can CD into space mesh and then plot speed is the one you're going to want there's other uh, there's other scripts and stuff in this. There's, let's just move it back one more. Um, there's also generate posts. So I'll do a video on this tool as well, but it helps you, uh, like if you have multi GPU and you want to create post data with multi GPU, that tool is really cool to use. But for now, we're just going to be using plot speed and it's super easy to use. I'm going to run it with sudo because. I have uh, my post data mounted on a second hard drive and it doesn't seem to like it if I don't use sudo. So sudo, so sudo python3 and then we're going to do smesher plot speed pi and then the directory where everything is and mine's in media slash post data. And I'm actually going to report, so I'm going to send up my data to the cloud so that everybody else can look at it. All right, so 3.86 megabits or megabytes uh, per second here, which is actually really good. 3080s, I think they're you know low, maybe mid uh, three, like 3.2, 3.4. So a TI looks like you'll get a little bit more out of that. My average plot speed is 3.78 megabytes, and I am only have 20, 20 hours left. That's not bad. That means by this time tomorrow, I will have completed this 384 gig, gigabyte file. And I sent up the report. So let's check out the report real quick and see how I'm comparing against everybody else. And if you just submit yours, you're going to be at the top. So 3080 Ti, 3.78. Uh, this doesn't look right. There's no way a 3060 is getting 7.72. This is also off. Uh, 22080s, definitely not. These three are actually, some of these are mine. Uh, these two are mine. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're running a 3070 and you're going to move up to a 3080, it looks like you're going to see, or 3080 Ti, you're going to see uh, 1.3 uh, um, megabit, megabit, maybe bit, <laughs> maybe byte uh, uh, increase in speed. So that's a pretty good jump from a 3070 to a 3080 Ti. 
Of course, there's also a price jump there too, and you're using more wattage, but from what I've seen, it typically makes more sense to, if you can or you have one, like you're gonna, it's gonna be more efficient with a faster GPU. The wattage doesn't seem to scale with the speed. All right, so not bad. Uh, I'm gonna do another couple videos with some other graphics cards. So far, I've done a GTX 1070 Ti, and I've done a GTX or an RTX 3070. We just did the 3080 Ti, and we'll have a 4090 coming up, as well as just a regular 1070. So, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.